What's going on everybody? This is Papa Sparry and welcome back to Pokemon Isle of Armor. In the last episode, we left off right here. Uh, just because I wanted to, and it's raining actually, so this is a perfect thing to announce that the poll has ended. And with 77% of the votes, we are going to be switching our Kafu into the Rapid Strike style, the water fighting style. So... We're going to go and ride right over here to it. Because uh, I want to go and do the challenge as soon as possible for you guys. So we are here at Challenge Beach. And we're going to be uh, doing... Ooh, there is something here though. What is this? A dive ball. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Uh, there's some other stuff there, but it is time. Actually, here we go. Dun dun dun! Oh man, that looks so cool. I'm super excited. I cannot absolutely, I cannot wait to tr to continue into this area. All right. I saw already sent this. The Tower of Waters. It's a special training ground that allow that only Cub Fu can use. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure the Cub Fu is the only Pokemon on your team. Oh. Okay. Here we go then. Uh, Butterfree, we're gonna move. War Turtle, we're gonna move. We're getting there. Our starter. And Toxtricity, and then the final Mon, Grimmsnarl. There we go. All have been moved. Now we heal up our Cub Fu. We level it up a little bit more. Super potion it up. Bam. Bam. There we go. Uh, rare candies. We'll do. Actually, where is. It's all the way up here, isn't it? Yep. Okay. We're going to do. Uh, on Kafu we'll do three. See where that lands up. 63? That seems like a good level. I think 63 is a plenty enough level. So here we go. Hopefully, this is good. It's where, it's the trading ground where Kafu can learn the true essence of water. If you raise Kafu to at least level 70, training will go smoothly. Once you enter the tower, you won't be able to leave until you beat five, best five opponents or are defeated yourself. Once more, the tower you didn't choose will be closed forever. Oh. Oh, so I can't even go back and do a... And, and get another... And someone trade me a Kung Fu. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to for, forsake the path of darkness. And uh, according to Twitter, we're going to go to Path of Water. So here we go. Path of Water. No turning back. Yes. I'm sure. Here we go. Alright. Uh, they did say Cup Food needs to be level 70. So let's bump him up just a bit to level 70. So that would at least stand a chance. I think that might be too much. 74. A little too much. But you know what? It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Alright. Rain falls to become a river, and the river will eventually flow into the ocean. Such a great cycle of water, it will swallow you whole. So are we going to be facing all water mons? That's my guess. Master Dojo student. A Psyduck, yes. Okay, so we're going to be facing all water mons. Okay. Alright, so Brick Break. It kind of sucks that it's... Psyduck, it lived on one. It lived on a actual one. Are you kidding me? Uh, what's, what's funny is this this trainer only has one mon. Okay, that's fine. So are they going to constantly get more and more mons as we get higher? That's the question. All right. I've been swallowed whole by your great strength. Giggity. Straight up. Giggity. 
Impressive. You can now proceed to the second floor. Alright. No, I don't want to ride my bicycle. I want to heal up the Cub Fu. Super Potion. We are definitely healing up Cub Fu between each level. Because there's nothing that says we can't. Alright, here we go. Second one. You know, I didn't check the first floor for any, like, hidden items or anything like that. In a round cup, water becomes round. In a square teapot, it becomes square. Water is adaptable, changing form to match the opponent. Prepare, uh, prepare to drown in its power. This is really cool. I like this. This is really unique. Oh, that's so interesting, though. So that means when I eventually do do a uh, Nuzlocke of this game on Pokemon Sword, we're going to have to go through the Darkness Tower. Because we did the... Uh, whatchamacallit? Because we did the uh, Water Tower here. So the Darkness Tower is next. And this only has one Mon. Interesting. Why does it only have one... Why do they each only have one Mon? I figure this would have been an actual challenge. Unless, like, the final person has six. And it's like a 1v6 sort of situation. We can now proceed to the third floor. Okay, so there's nothing behind there. Good to know, at least. Alright. Now saving. We gotta heal. Heal. There we go. Okay. Uh, check behind there. Nothing behind there. Okay. Raindrops may be small and weak on their own, but a torrent of rain can grind rocks into dust. Do you have the willpower to withstand the relentless tor uh, torrent of my raindrops? Okay, so I'm guessing she's gonna have like one or two mons, one that sets up rain, one that deal like deals with it very well, or is it just one mon again? I'm waiting to see. It's still just one mon. Alright, uh, dynamic punch. And you avoided it. Okay. Ow. That didn't do anything, but sure. Come on, you can hit this. You got this, Kung Fu. Shabam. That did nothing. But we did get the confusion, which is great. Hit yourself. Come on. Nope, you passed through. Damn. Alright, rock smash. Smash the rock! Right in... Okay! How? Like... Okay, good, you hurt yourself. Okay, is Brick Break just like... A hundred times better? Aqua Jet. Oh, we eat those! We eat those for breakfast, lunch, and dinner! Okay. I really do like this music. Alright. Okay. Now we can go to the fourth floor. But before we do, we gotta obviously heal. Okay. Man, this would have been cool if it was like every every floor you go up, it gets harder and harder with more and more Pokemon you have to defeat in order to pass. Water changes its form, even its name on a whim. Can you contain it? Ooh, I don't know. Can we? But yeah, this is definitely going to be interesting. Okay, you're sending out a Poliwhirl now. Do you have two Mons? Please, one of you have two mons. Or at least more than one. Brick break. Yeah, brick break still did mo does more. What the? Oh no, we got a lower, def lower speed. Ooh, is it going to outspeed us now? Oh, use protect. Okay, that's fine. We're good, we're good. Now, I have a question. Is 
Kafu gonna learn a whole different move set after this? Or are we gonna be able to teach it different moves? I'm super confused on how this is gonna work out. Alright. Okay, now we can go to the final top floor. And you know what? Just for an added challenge, I'm not going to heal Cub Fu. And there's Mustard himself. Oh, that's so cool. I really like that. Alright. Uh, no, I don't want to ride my bike. I keep hitting that for the pause menu. Yeah, no. Cub Fu should be fine. Let me guess, you're going to have its evolution. We're going to have to fight its evolution. I figured you choose the uh, Tower of Water, so I decided to wait here for you. Spartan, Kofu, you've both done well to get this far. Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. A stream too clear is avoided by fish Pokemon. We all need some darkness in ourselves. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson, the essence of water. Okay. So we're... Okay, I see you. And he's got an Ultra Ball. Oh, you got to cut for yourself. Okay. That's fine. I really like his uniform. I hope we can unlock that. That looks sick. Hone your senses now and let this battle sharpen you. Show me how you've grown. Choose wisely. Uh, this is what Cub Fu's fists are truly capable of. Oh, I forgot I can learn Aerial Ace. I forgot I can learn Aerial Ace. Uh, nope. Hyper. Use. Heal. Uh, we may be screwed here. Because I didn't learn Hyper uh, Aerial Ace. Oh, it's using Focus Energy. It's faster than us, too. That's the issue. Uh, I'm going to have to heal again. Okay. We're full health. Brick break. We we're good. we can live that. We cannot live that. Uh, okay, this is going to be a really risky maneuver here. We outsped. It lived on one. We lose. Oh my gosh, that was actually kind of insane. Okay. All right, cool. So let's try this one more time. But this time I'm gonna give myself a little, little bit of an advantage. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I don't need that to raise a special defense. Okay, boost crits. Where is the one I'm looking for? No, that, that helps ground. Eviolite. Um, I mean, I, we can. So yeah, like it'll help. Let's see if there's anything better, though, that we can give it. Focus Sash, no, because we won't get one shot. I say that now, though, we're going to get one shot somewhere in this. Yeah, that's fine, right there. We'll give it that to boost its defense. Because once we can boost our, its defense, then we should be fine. Now, do I have to beat all of you again? Yep, okay. Alright, so... Here we go. Round second verse. Hopefully not the same as the first. All 
All right, it's the Psyduck. We know we can at least one, sh like almost one shot it. So, Brick Break should be to able to take care of this. Of course not. Ow. And you know what? It was actually my bad because if I probably would have healed up before we even went into that, we probably would have been better off. But I won't know that until, you know, we get up there this time and I heal beforehand. Because that could have screwed us. All right, second floor time. Here we go. And I forgot to heal. Oh, well. At least I know with these, I don't have to worry about healing right away. We're usually good. We can usually, like, live a few. The fourth one, I'm definitely going to have to heal before, though. Like, that's a mandatory heal. Um, Brick Break should Oko this. Should. It doesn't. We're living that. We're, we are living that. And this, this will finish you off. No issue. Okay. Now this is actually be being pre-recorded like way in advance of when it actually comes out. So, just be prepared. Just be prepared. This is the night before uh, The Last of Us comes out. So, that's what I'm wait. That, like, I've, after I finish doing all this recording and all that, I'm going to be swapping out my Switch for my PlayStation. So that way I don't have to worry about hooking it up in the morning. But here we go, round three. Alright. I'm pretty sure I have the willpower now. I was able to beat you the first time. That's right, you have the weird Meryl. Ugh. Alright. A few brick breaks should be fine. Like, two brick breaks and we should be good, right? Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, but we are eating those for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ooh. Alright. I like how she does that little kick. Oh, yeah. We're eating all of this. Oh, yeah, that close combat really came in handy. All right, let me just double check, make sure everything is still good. Uh, yep, yep, okay, cool. Everything looks to be recording properly. That's always a good thing. I always have that worry. Like, that is a big worry of mine, is to, like, finish a good session and it not record. Okay. And then we should only need one, uh... Whatchamacallit, uh, one super potion for this battle. After this battle's over, at least. But yeah, how are all of you wonderful people doing today? But yeah, let's definitely take a look. Come on, Kung Fu, you got this. I wish there was one that raised attack. I, I, I'm pretty sure there is, but I always forget it. Hmm. Yep, protect second turn. That's what I expected. And I'm pretty sure you won't go for the double protect. No, he goes for the whirlpool. And kabow. All right, time for the dojo master himself. Okay. We eat, like, this is an easy way to grind money, unfortunately. Like, funny enough, if you are low on money when you come to this area. 
just make it to the top, lose, and then go back up. Because you only lose... I'm losing 9,000. But between the last four battles, I think I gained like 15. So you get six... Uh, it's a $6,000 buff, like roughly. Alright, here we go. Good old mustard. Alright. Skip through all this dialogue. I wish there was a skip dialogue button. All right, the true essence of water. This is such a cool freaking like cutscene. Like he puts so much emphasis into this, it's awesome. Now I wonder if you get Dynamax in this. I don't think you can, but you never know. All right, Kafu, we're going to Brick Break. Okay, we did half. Here comes that Aerial Ace. Yep, see how much we tank. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, no, we, we could definitely do this now. Oh, and we get the crit, that works. Crits, the crits finally worked in our favor for once. Oh, that's so nice when the crits actually work in your favor instead of screwing you over. Alright. You young folk grow up so fast. It never ceases to amaze me. 14k for winning. That's absolutely insane. There we go. Now I can actually lean forward and not get cut off. We did it! Huzzah! Damn, he's like moving! He is moving and grooving. I knew you were worthy of my trust, Spartan. You have done well, very well indeed, in raising Kung Fu uh, to this level of strength. Leon was my best student long ago, and he attempted this trial, but he never made it to either tower. He got lost along the way. Now it's finally time for Kung Fu to evolve. Go and show Kung Fu the scroll of waters. Kung Fu is now ready. Kung Fu, learn from the scroll of waters. Do you want to show Kung Fu the Scroll of Waters and how it evolve? Wait, does this mean I can go back to the tower? To the Dark Tower? Either way, I'm going to do it. You guys voted for it, and here we go. I could easily just walk by and let him evolve before that. What kind of BS is this? But here we go, Cup Fu is evolving. Dun 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 dun. Alright, and we got the Urshifu. Fighting water, rapid strike style. This form is of Urshifu is strong is a strong believer in defeating foes by raining many blows down on them. It strikes non-stop flowing like a river. Now here's where we learn like 20 moves. Surging strikes. Oh heck yeah, we're going to learn its signature move. Uh, we'll get rid of dynamic punch for it. Uh, actually. The user having mastered the water style strikes the target with flowing motion three times in a row. This attack always results in a crit. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to do it over Dynamic Punch. Okay. That's so cool. I can't wait to test that out. Is that the only move he learns? Sure. Uh, sh uh, sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade turned against it. And it has mastered the style of water.
Haha, ha, you've certainly grown, haven't you? And to think not too long ago you would have run and hid behind behind me the moment you got scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing someone grow is always jo brings a joy to my heart. Spartan Urshifu, thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I almost forgot. I give this to anyone who has faced me when I was taking the battle seriously. Oh, we got his leaf card. Okay. So I wonder how we can get, get that. Now then, let's head back to the dojo. Dude, that thing looks so sick. I love his design. Such talent and strength. Perhaps the time has come. Oh, is he going to give up being the dojo master? <gasps> no, I don't want to take his spot. That looks so sick. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Let's get some hype down in the comment section below. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey. It's hot. Looks like you've been hard at work keeping uh, keep up your training here at the dojo, huh? What are you doing here? Surprise and nicely done. Uh, that's just the reaction I was hoping for. I'm here on the Isle of Armor to research more about Dynamax phenomenon. So I hear you two are friends. How delightful. Hoppy, uh, Hoppykins here was just asking my permission to camp out in the, in the Isle of Armor. But where's the fun of mucking about in the mud? I was telling him... I was telling him he should stay here at the dojo. I mean, it'd be loads easier than camping out for a long while. But wouldn't I be in the way? Everybody's welcome to wear out their welcome at the master's dojo. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we practically family already. Uh, you're the little brother of our Leon, after all. Yeah, it's true. Leon did train here when he was when we were both kids. All right then, Master Mustard. You twisted my arm. I hope you I hope you don't regret it because I'm staying. Woohoo! The more the merrier. I'm pleased as punch in a gold plated punch bowl. Which reminds me, Spartan. I got something I would mean to tell you about Kubfu, or really its evolution, Urshifu. The truth is the lovable rascal can is capable of gigantic maxing too. But it it's a bit tricky because it's uh, really can't stand the taste of the max mushrooms. So max soup is off the menu. Unless you can make it more appealing. There's a certain something you can find here on the Isle of Armor that will make even Urshifu gobble it up like a bowl of max soup. A and that certain something is... That certain something is actually... The suspense is killing me! Like is... Actually, I've forgotten what it is. Oopsie doopsie. Oh my gosh. You're even more fun to tease than your little brother ever was. The sort of something I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking of is sure to make the Maxi more palatable for Urshifu. And it has something to do with another Pokemon. Now, I think I'll let the two of you figure it out, out, uh, figure out what that is. Just give it a good thing together. Uh, you're on your own, kiddos. The world is your cloister, so get to Kraken. It's cloister. It's like... Something that Cloyster can give. Uh, is this how usually the training goes? I'm really, I really got no rapid dash in this race. But even though I'm pretty curious about that certain something. I think I read uh, something about Urshifu in a book once too. It's the Wushu Pokemon, right? The book said that it lives in the mountains of some far off region. Huh? You didn't know? Don't you have one? Well, yeah, it just kind of evolved. I think I read that Urshifu absolutely, uh, absolutely mad for some kind of sticky honey. Honey that's made right here for the nectars and flowers of the plants, right? So maybe we need that nectar made by some Pokemon that could look like flowers and plants. And if we're looking for those kind of Pokemon, I reckon there'll be lots in the forest. I'll be able to uh, look into Dynamaxi along the way, so count me in for some exploration. There's a forest and then that big marshland, right? I bet I could beat you, still beat you there. Oh my gosh, Hop, seriously, you're thinking about racing now? Bad Hop. All right, guys, well, this is where we're gonna leave off this episode. With that, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below. Comment and subscribe for more amazing content such as this. And until next time, it's been your Spotful Spartan, signing off. Stay frosty, everyone. Peace!